done. Today, we are doing another geometry construction. Here, in the circle below, A, B is a chord. Use a compass and straight edge. Oh man, what kind of idiot even wrote this? Doesn't know a single word that I've think about grammar. Huh. Use a compass and a straight edge. Construct a diameter of circle. All right. That's enough eyesores for today. So now, right now, we're going to be constructing the uh, diameter. And let me tell you a little theory. The thing is, it's not a theory, it's a theorem. If you have any chord, so for example, the what, what is chord? A chord is like a line uh, inscribed in a circle that is not the diameter. Stupid O, Max, stupid O. Isn't it chord? That's enough for today. Okay, so that's enough. I used to believe that there was no such thing as a stupid question until I heard you. <laughs> so now, if you have any chord such as R for last rule and B, then let's say the diameter will always be a perpendicular bisector of any chord. So how do you draw perpendicular bisector? Well, let me remind you. First, we're going to put our point on A, and then we're going to make the radius over half of the length of AB, and then we're going to draw one arc above, and we're also going to draw another arc below. And now, I'm going to do the same thing but for B and I'm gonna watch as they intersect they oh wait do they intersect yet no not yet so I'm going to extend A by a little bit and then B is gonna be this all right so that's one intersection point and now, where is our other intersection on the point? Well, we thought, can you tell me what we're going to do now? So you're going to draw a line through the other intersection point and the initial intersection point. Well, where is the other intersection point? Repeat the same thing for the bottom. Okay, thank you. At least stupid old Max stupid was it around. He's probably the one who wrote the question. Let's be real here. <laughs> so, this is our radius. And now I'm going to, oh uh, well, A already has its line uh, arc constructed over here. And then we have B, which will look a little something like this. Come on. So we need A to go for a little bit more and boom. Now we have intersection point number two. Now we just line them up, you know. So, hey, student, over there in the back, pay attention. So now that's one, two, a block, the block, and that's less diameters of the circle. I know, it looks a bit messy, but construction marks, am I right? So now, let's measure this up, and it says 13 and, 13.9, let's say. And then I'm going to measure like this, straight, and it says 13.8. So now, that's it.